Lesson 108, we're going to begin working on a newsletter that we will continue in the next two lessons. The first thing you should look at is 108D, a short section on newsletter design. This is on page 448 in your textbook. Now, as it says, newsletters are an excellent forum for communicating information and in a wide range of subjects and purposes. But a well-planned newsletter will still employ all the basic principles of good design that we talked about back in Lesson 103. If you remember, these are very simple and brief, but they include that you should keep the elements in your design simple and balanced. You should limit the number of fonts and attributes. Usually, two fonts is a good rule of thumb and you use white space liberally to separate and open up the text and graphics. Now, because newsletters usually include information on such a wide variety of topics, they are generally more complex in their layouts. They do have the following elements in common, mastheads, main headings and subheadings, text arranged in a newspaper column format. It can use different column widths to add interest, text boxes that will emphasize and summarize information, pictures used to draw your, your reader's attention and interest to a topic, not used too liberally and for no specific purpose, however, and a variety of borders and fills. The most important aspect of the design should be that it is consistent from one page to the next. That provides unity to the newsletter design and it's often achieved through the use of headers and footers. Let's begin report 10884. Now you will find that each section of this project has a lot of corrections over on the left that we need to make in your textbook instructions. In this one, you're going to need to modify step 4 and step 9 as shown here. Now the instructions in your textbook on page 448 are summarized in our checklist as usual, not by step number, however, so we will follow along and construct the first stage of our newsletter, which is going to be to create the masthead and the footer for the first page. First, we're going to set all of our margins to 3 quarters of an inch. Let's go to Page Layout, Margins, Custom, just type 0.75 in top, left, bottom, and right. Click OK, and as you do that, watch the margins change on the ruler of your document. OK, now it is easiest to create your masthead with a table framework. So we're going to create an open table with two columns and two rows. That's simple, we can just draw it this way. Now an open table, remember, means that the borders are removed. So for now we're going to remove our borders. No border, but be sure that the grid lines are still visible. You do that, remember, by going to the layout menu and clicking view grid lines if yours are not showing. Okay, the next step is going to be to drag the middle column border to the left so that column A is about two inches wide. Watch on the ruler. When we get to two on the ruler, we stop. That's two inches. In the first cell, in column B, row one is going to be right aligned. Let's go to our table tools layout menu, click align center right. That means vertical center in the cell. It is fine if you simply go to the home menu and click right alignment. As you'll see, it's highlighted here from our choice. Now we can also change our font settings to Calibri 36 point bold. Type planning today for a fire emergency. You should let the title wrap to two lines as shown here. If you have set up your font size before you started typing, it should do it automatically without needing to press enter. After that, press enter one time. We're going to change to Calibri 14 point, still bold, and type a newsletter from HLS Security 
systems. You will notice red squiggly line under HLS, but if you're sure that you have those letters in the right order, just ignore that. Press enter one time. That gives you a little extra space in that row. If you'll notice, it makes the cell over in column A more square. Now move to column A, row 2. You can select the entire row and change to Calibri 12 point bold italic and type in column A volume 5 comma space issue number 2. Move to column B row 2. Here change to right alignment. We are still at Calibri 12 point bold and italic. You're going to type February. We're just typing the month and the year so it's 2000 and then the current year. So no commas, just a space between February and the year. Now apply a left, right, and bottom border to row 2. So select the row, come to our border options, left, right, and bottom. Then if you click outside you can see that you have applied those correctly. In column A, we put our insertion point. We're going to insert clip art associated with security. Okay, now you can think about what you'd like your color scheme to be for this. It doesn't need to be exactly what is in the book, and I may demonstrate something very similar. But you can choose what colors you think would go with Security System Newsletter and plan accordingly. When you choose your clip art, that is going to influence the color of your text, your background page, and everything else. So you can plan it all ahead if you wish, or you can base it on your selection of clip art. A more horizontal or square clip art is going to fit here better, so let's I'm going to choose this one. Since we had our insertion point in that cell, it enlarges to fit the graphic, but we need to reduce it so that it goes back to the size it was originally set up to be. Okay, now I'm going to recolor my picture because I want to go with the lavender or blue plan that's modeled in your textbook. You choose to format the picture. You can choose picture color, recolor, and check some of the presets here. I'm going to go with a purple accent color for light. I'm going to change the wrap style, remember, to be in front of text. Let's see, it's still more than two inches. I don't know how that happened. Let's move it back here. And then I'll be able to move it into the center of that frame. I'm going to apply a picture style or a border. Okay, I'm choosing the bevel rectangle. So it fits in that two inch cell. Now I am going to select the newsletter title and change the font color to coordinate with the picture in column A. Notice I am just changing the title here. I had chosen Accent 3, and so anything in this column is going to coordinate with that graphic choice. Um, I do want it to be dark enough to show up, so I may, depending on the page background, move to a darker color here. Not the very darkest, but a dark one. Now I want to apply a double line border to row 1 using a color that complements the color in the newsletter title, still from that same column that we showed there. I'm going to select all of row 1 and move to the border options. It says double line border. So we're going to look at the borders available to us and look at our style. Scroll down here until we start seeing double line borders. Here is a simple one and then here we have a heavier border on the outside. Here is a heavier border on the inside. And there are more options as we go. I'm going to choose this one. It's showing that it's going to be on the box all the way around. That's what is selected here at box border. And now we need to change the color. I'm going to choose the font color that I chose for the title. Applying it to the cell means the entire row that was selected. Now notice, we just left the simple border on row 2. 
and this double border was applied to row 1. Altogether, though, this is considered the masthead. Now we're going to move down to the footer area. We're going to insert a blank footer, center and type the word page, followed by one space. So on the insert ribbon, we choose footer, choose blank. The first thing you do here is press tab, type page, space. Then remember how we did this before? We're going to insert a page number at the current position. So under page number, move down to current position, and choose plain number. Now we can close the footer, zoom out so we see a view of our entire page so that we can insert a page color. Move to page layout and under page color. I'm going to choose the lightest purple accent for lighter 80%. Here I have completed the instructions for the first part of our newsletter, the masthead and the footer. Let's see how this scores in GDP. Again, we're not terribly worried about this as long as you have completed the steps as indicated. This time I hit the jackpot, zero errors, but as I said before, don't be too disturbed if you have some errors showing that you don't understand. As long as you have followed the instructions demonstrated, you should be fine to continue.